name is Ji Tanji. Welcome to Kababayan today. At ngayong araw na ito, we will be sharing a bit of history with all of you about the OPM world or ang tinatawag original Filipino music. Uh, Asin was formed in late 1976, the nucleus of which was the duo of Mike Pillora Jr. and Cesar Banyales Jr. who were playing at folk joints and pub houses in Manila as Mike and Cesar. A year later, Lolita Carbon was recruited by the duo to fill in the missing middle voice and eventually became the third member. Pillora named the trio Salt of the Earth after the song recorded originally by the Rolling Stones and later by, the, by Joan ba Baez, written and composed by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. Other than the song title, Pillora also based the name of the group from the biblical metaphor, Salt of the Earth, which represents the humble and sincere masses. Asin was the first group to incorporate Filipino indigenous instruments into pop rock music. Malaking bagay po yan. They also studied tr uh, Filipino tribal music and did what they could to be true to the origins of music. Instead of plagiarizing the indigenous music, they set about educating people about respecting the origins of the music and representing it with agreement from the tribal sources. Asin was also important in local politics, and although they did not set out to be a political band, they reflected the political message needed for the times. They should be seen against the backdrop of martial law during the time of President Ferdinand Marcos. Occasionally, the recordings were confiscated as subversive, yet, on the other hand, they were invited to play at the presidential palace. Well, guess what? We have history with us today. Kasama natin on Kababayan today, si Noy Pillora, hello. Hello, thank you very much for inviting me here. G. Hindi ko akalain, kausap ko ay isang legend. Wow, I'm, I'm not. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. You are a legend, <laughs> Noy. You are Filipino, that's why you're yeah. humble. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, marami kayong nagawa uh, in terms of indigenous folk music, and that's important na alam ng, ng ating mga kabataan, di ba? Kasi ang ating mga kabataan, eh, mabilis makilimot ng mga pangyayari nung uh, wala pa sila, di ba? Yeah, hindi lang mga kabataan. Oo oh, nga, may <laughs> amnesia <laughs> tayo, mga Pilipino, di ba? <laughs> yeah. And um, I think that music is a great reminder of the times, which is why until today, your music is still very, very relevant. And yeah. we are very thankful that you've agreed to come on our show. We are the only daily talk show for Filipinos in America. So it's yeah, a big okay. deal na nandito kayo sharing uh, your message. So uh, welcome to America, first Thank of all. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful that you invited me here. Okay, yeah. so uh, let's talk about this. Kailan kayo umalis ng Pilipinas? When did you migrate out of the country? Uh, it was exactly something like nine years ago that I went out of the Philippines and then I went to Israel. I had an Israeli wife and we were living in the Philippines for like 17 years. And uh, finally, we decided that we will migrate to Israel because the mother, uh, she contacted Alzheimer. So before she even forget the daughter is alive, so we decided to go there. And then uh, also for my daughter that she's already growing up and we need a school for her, a good school for her, so we brought her along with us. Okay, so kamusta naman ang buhay sa Israel bilang isang Pilipino? Marami ba kayong nakikilalang Pilipino rin doon? Yeah, there are much Filipinos there, OFWs, you know, the overseas Filipino workers who are working in Israel and uh, as caregivers and, you know, kind of, uh, there, there is quite a big community there. Okay. Something like uh, 50 to 60,000 Filipinos. Okay. And uh, as an artist na Pinoy talaga, dugo sa puso, namimiss nyo ba ang Pilipinas? Eh, siyempre. Nandun, nandun lagi yan sa puso ko. <laughs> yung ganun. But uh, sa, dahil, dahil maraming ang Pilipinas sa, ano, sa Israel, so pag namimiss ko yung Pilipinas, mapupunta ako na sa Pilipino communities. Oo. Ako so, naman, pag namimiss ko ang pagiging Pinoy, pumupunta lang ako sa grocery, bumibili ako ng patis. <laughs> okay na, di ba? Marami na akong nakakasama ng Pilipino, lalo na dito sa Southern California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you, you, uh, you were just in Florida. Um, how was that? Like yeah, yeah, I was there uh, to perform in uh, last May 20 and 21. 
but I was also together with uh, the group. Uh, I, I, I am now embarking on the on a project called Ang Karugtong sa Musika ng Asin, which is the continuation to the music of Asin. And I am uh, uh, interacting with the local artists in the, in the locality. So it's, it's what I'm doing also here in California, that I am in inviting uh, artists uh, to come with me and to play with me, only the music of Asin, like this. Yes, yeah. and people need to know your music if they do not. That's why here on Kababayan today we will be featuring uh, your work and we can't wait that uh, you render all of our Kababayans, your songs. Pagbalik po natin, pag-uusapan po natin yung mga legendary songs ng Asin. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 